how to start something new. I love this topic because a lot of people just fail at the first hurdle when it comes to starting something new. They never even get started. They never achieve their deepest goals and dreams and desires because they fail at the very beginning and they don't even get started. And if there's one way to guarantee you absolutely don't hit your goals and don't do what you want to achieve is by not even starting that thing in the first place. Okay, and I was that, I was that guy, okay? I was that guy, I had a lot of ideas and a lot of things that I used to think about on a daily basis that I wanted to do and I never took action. I just spent all my time thinking about all these different things, never took action and they just remained ideas in my head. Okay, so I know what it's like to be like that and if maybe if you clicked on this video, there's something that you haven't started yet. There's been something that you've been thinking about doing for a long time now and you haven't done yet. And uh, this is that's what this video is about, okay? This video is gonna help you. Now, uh, I wanna preface this and I say like, I don't have all the answers, okay? I haven't figured out everything, but I have completely turned my life around. My life looks completely different now. I used to be completely broke, uh, depressed. Uh, I was on three or four different medications. I got kicked out of university. Uh, all my family were concerned about me. I had no job. Uh, I wasn't in a great state of health or great state of sort of mental, um, mental state. And now uh, my life looks completely different. I'm here, I'm living in Bali, I'm living the life exactly as I designed years ago. I live life on my terms. I don't really worry about money, although you know it'd be nice to have more. And uh, yeah, things are completely different right now. So I don't have all the answers, but I have figured out at least how to get started on something that if that's what you wanna do, okay? And my job and my mission now as an online coach is to help people get started because if you carry on doing what you're already doing you'll keep on getting what you're already getting and if you're not happy with a specific area of your life right now then chances are you need to change you need to do something new and that is uh, really what this is about and that's what my job is to do is to help people create new habits which serve them and remove old habits which don't serve them and my mission now is to help men just get in the best shape of their life that's physically, mentally, financially, emotionally, spiritually, just create all round absolute beasts of men, all right? How do we do that, okay? Now, I just want you to understand that uh, this is not your fault. If you've, been, if you've been in this situation for a long time now where you've been thinking about something, you haven't taken any action, I want you to understand this is, it's not your fault because it's not like this stuff is taught in schools, it's not. It's not taught in schools, I don't know why it's not taught in schools. I suspect it's probably because they don't want people to just go off and be free thinkers because society will be uh, maybe more chaotic if everyone just did their own thing. You know, people, they want people to stay in line and pay their taxes and, you know, do as they're told and, you know, follow the, the societal norms because then everything's just going to be much more orderly. But a lot of people do not want that. Even if they're following that path right now, they do not want that and maybe they want something different for their life. But in order to do that, you're gonna have to start something new, you're gonna have to do something better. All right guys, so I want you to understand that it's not your fault that you're in this situation right now, but you can do this, you can do this. If I can, as cheesy as this sounds, but if I can do this, you can do this. If you are still watching this video right now and you're able to understand the words that I'm speaking, you have all the raw materials that you need to be able to start whatever it is that you wanna do. All right guys, so there's uh, a few points that I wanna discuss. I've got some notes as always, but the, the main idea that I want you to, to understand is that getting started is the hardest part. It's always the hardest part is to just get started. Okay, and when you start something new that, that you have naturally, you just wanna be good at that thing. Humans, we don't like to be bad at anything. We just wanna be good. But the problem is you're not gonna be good at the beginning, okay? So you kinda just have to focus on getting started and then, then you improve over time, okay? So there's, there's two steps to actually achieving any goal is number one, start, and number two, don't quit. But we're not gonna talk about not quitting today. I've made previous videos in the past and I make future videos on not quitting. Today, we'll focus on how to get started. So the first question I would ask yourself is why haven't you done what you wanted to do yet? What is holding you back? What's preventing you? Sorry, I got a fly flying around. 
what's uh, what's preventing you from doing what you want to do right now is it fear fear is the big one that holds people back is it fear of failure you know if you go back to the example of school like what the school system teaches you that failing is bad you should avoid failing tests at all costs and if you get an f that is really bad but life does not work like that society does not work like that fitness and business and whatever you have to fail first failure is a prerequisite to success so for you to expect to be able to do anything new and not fail in the beginning is is in, insane it's a definition of ins insanity okay it will not happen you have to fail so instead of fear and failure failure ask yourself how can you embrace failure how can you expect it how can you learn to enjoy failing because you know with each failure you're one step closer to success to success and there was a famous scientist, I don't know who it was, maybe uh, Thomas Edison, I think the inventor of the light bulb, uh, you know, said, I, I didn't fail a thousand times, I just found a thousand times it didn't work before he eventually found the way it did work, okay? And if you have that mindset to this new thing that you wanna do, whether it's get in the gym, or whether it's you start a business, or whether it's, you know, start uh, producing content on social media, Whatever it is, if you have this mindset that, okay, uh, I'm, gonna pull, I'm gonna be doing something at the beginning, it's not gonna be optimal, it's not gonna be good, I might look silly, I, I might make mistakes, but so what? It's better than not starting at all, right, okay? Because if there's one way you can guarantee failure, absolutely guarantee failure, is if you don't start, okay? You're guaranteed 100% to fail if you don't start, all right? Uh, so also ask yourself, what's stopping you from taking action right now another one it could be fear of judgment especially when it comes to posting content on social media you're going to be thinking oh what will sally from primary school be thinking what will all these be people be thinking and when it comes to you know worrying what others think like when i was younger my whole life was dictated around what others think i never did what i wanted to think i always did what i wanted what i thought would be best for my public opinion of what other people want like wanted from me you know so I never actually just did what I wanted to do. And, that, and this was like a big struggle for me uh, around my teenage years. But I just come to the realization that, um, you know, I'm thinking, I'm in my head and I'm thinking about me because in my head, I am like quite important because I'm, I'm me. But in your head, you're thinking about you because you're quite important because you're in your world, right? I'm not saying you're selfish or self-centered, but you know, in your head, your world, the world does revolve around you, right? Okay, so I'm thinking about me, you're thinking about you, and you're worrying what others think about you, and the next person is in their head worrying about what people think about them. Well, who's thinking about you? Because I'm thinking about me, they're thinking about them, and you're thinking about you. So everyone's just worried about what the opinions are of the other people, but no one's actually focused on them. Like, no one is actually that interesting to be honest like no one really cares that much and will you get a few haters yes of course like some of these comments on youtube really crack me up okay and i actually like it because listen these 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 comments there's nothing you can write in the comment section which is even going to scratch the surface because i did one of the jobs that i did when i was younger was uh door to door sales okay go knock on people's doors uh, and ask them if they wanted to donate money to a charity and let me tell you right now, some people get extremely pissed off when you knock on their door and try and sell them something. Like, wow, I've never seen anger like it. There was this one time I knocked on this dude's door and I just, uh, I saw him from the window, he looked through and he could see me, not through the door, through the window at the side. And I just, I could see his body language in his eyes and I was just like, oh, okay, this guy is not in a good mood. I'm just gonna start to retreat and walk backwards. Anyway, he comes out, he's got a machete in his hand, and he goes, <laughs> you better F off right now before I chop your effing head off. I'm like, bro, I'm sorry, like, I'm going, I'm going, like, relax. I'm just seeing if you wanted to donate money to a charity. Okay, and this is quite a common thing. When you knock on strangers' doors and try and sell them something, you get hate. It's part of the job, okay? So if you think, like you, your little hater right now, you think you're going to write a mean comment and, oh, this will show, this will show, James, da 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 Like, 
don't care. If anything, I like it because it helps the algorithm out, you know? The worst thing you can do is watch the video and not comment anything at all. So, you know, if you're thinking about leaving hay, thank you very much. If you're worried about getting hay, don't worry about getting hate, okay? Because it actually helps you. It helps you. It helps you with social media, but you know, even outside of the realms of social media, um, hate's really not going to change anything. And unfortunately, if you want to do anything big in life, you're going to get hate. You look at some of the n nicest, generous people in the world, they get a lot of hate. Even people who, you know, are generally doing, like, undeniably such great things for the world. Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, they've all got so much hate, okay? So, the bigger you get, the more likely it is you're going to get hate. But right now, for where you are, I don't think you need to worry about hate. You definitely don't need to worry about other people's opinions. you just got to try and understand that you have fear about something and to do it anyway. And another thing that holds people back is just overthinking and procrastination, okay? And how I want you to think about this is that have you ever noticed that the thought of doing something is always worse than actually doing it? Like I can remember as a kid and I used to have homework and I used to put it off and put it off and put it off and I would save up all my homework and then it would get to a Sunday. To be honest, <laughs> I used to never do my homework. I used to just try and copy someone else on the bus or something like that. But uh, the times before I learned those tactics of life is I would put my homework off until the very last minute and then I would have to do it. And when I would do it, I'd be like, oh, okay, that actually wasn't that bad. And I don't, I don't know if you've ever noticed this. There's anything that you've really put off like, oh, I don't want to do it. And then you do it and it's like, oh, is that it? So often the thought of having to do something is 100x worse than actually just doing it, okay? And if you're thinking about starting something new and you're overthinking about it, that's probably what's going on there. And the more you think about it, it's like a, a vicious cycle where you, you think about it more, so the task th seems even bigger and even more insurmountable, and you think about it some more, and it's just like this vicious feedback loop where this thing is actually like, it's, it's very tiny, but because you've just been thinking about it and ruminating for so long, it's just grown into this big, massive task, which is just an illusion. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually take that much effort. Okay, guys, so that's with regards to, you know, fear, overthinking, procrastination. I want you to ask yourself, how can you start today? How can you start right now? After this video finishes, do not watch another video. Do not do anything else. What I want you to do is ask yourself, how can you make the first step? How can you get towards, uh, how can you start doing this thing that you wanna do, okay? And the mindset that you need to have, first of all, is to have zero expectations. Because uh, I've, I've told this already, but you're not gonna be good in the beginning. And that's okay, that's completely normal. And if you look at a child, right, a child, when they're trying to walk, okay, they don't like, they don't have the expectation of, oh, I'm just gonna get up and I'm gonna run around. They might have the desire to do that, but they don't expect to do that. And you know, they might get up and walk, or they might take the first step and fall down, but they don't give up, okay? They don't give up. And actually, they, they, it's not like they just stay sat down forever either. They wanna get up and they wanna walk. But at some point, going from a child's to an adult's life, we've kind of lost that, uh, the, the, the mindset of just having zero expectations. And now we expect everything to just, you know, it should just work first time. Like I had this mindset, uh, you know, when I wanted to try and do something new, it's a very fixed mindset. I believe that I was either good at something or bad at something. And if I would try something for the first time and I would be bad at it, then um, I shouldn't do that thing. And that actually meant that I tried lots of different things. I never did any of them again because I was bad at every, every, every one of them first time. <laughs> and, but that's completely normal, okay? So understand that, uh, you know, things are not gonna go well at the beginning and failure is a prerequisite to success. You have to fail first before you can get good. And um, simplify things. This is another big uh, topic is you've gotta, you've gotta simplify. Uh, you know, I've made a previous video on uh, stop trying to do everything. It's very similar to this, but it's very easy to get caught up in all the extra steps. Like for example, like if you wanna get into the gym, you know, you can start worrying about, oh, what exercises do I need to do? Uh, what sets, what reps, what's the optimal uh, time to work out? 
uh, you know, what's the optimal rep range is, uh, how many muscle groups should I be training, uh, you know, uh, what, what weights, what intensity, you know, if you're brand new, this is just going to be overwhelming. Like if you're brand new and you want to go to the gym, the best thing you can do right now is drive to the gym right now, drive to the gym, pay for a membership and go in and walk on the treadmill. And if you do that, you are already so much further ahead than the person who's sat at home trying to research, oh, what's, what's this thing and what's this thing? Because now you've got in the building. Now you're familiar with where, the, where everything is. Now you're familiar with the environment. Now you know the route to and from the gym. Now you know uh, the, the people. Now you know the person behind the desk, okay? So how can you simplify it? Uh, Elon Musk talks a lot about breaking things down to its first principles. And what I like to do when it comes to starting something new is ask yourself, you know, what are the minimum amount of steps that I need to do in order to get started? For example, for YouTube, this is another one. YouTube can get so complicated. It can turn into like a full-time job where you need a PhD in analytics to understand all the different terms. And also on top of that, you know, you've got like, what's the best camera? What's the best microphone? What's the best settings on the camera? Uh, you know, what's the best, uh, how can you hook the reader's attention? You know, what, what should, should your click-through rate be? What should your thumbnail look like? What should, uh, you know, there's a thousand different things to think about, but if you try and do everything on your first video, you're just gonna get overwhelmed and you're just not gonna do it. So the best thing to do is ask yourself, what are the minimum amount of steps that I need to do in order to just get started? And for YouTube, it's have an idea, okay? Have a recording device, your phone, everyone's got a phone, right? Turn, turn the camera on, speak about this idea, stop recording, and upload it to YouTube. That is the minimum amount of steps that you need to do to get started on YouTube, okay? And it's the same for whatever. Whatever you want to do, you can make it more simple than you're already doing it right now. And if you're not starting something, there's probably some fear there, you're probably overthinking it, and you're probably overcomplicating it. And if you can just strip away the layers and just keep it super simple and just say, okay, well, these are the minimum amount of steps that I need to do. And I'm just going to do that. I'm going to have zero expectations for the outcome. If anything, I'm going to expect it to fail. I'm going to expect things to not work out. And that's okay because I first have to get started. Then I can worry about getting good. And I was watching a, a podcast with uh, Mr. Beast. I don't know whether you know Mr. Beast. He's like the biggest YouTuber uh, I think he's the biggest YouTuber in the world, okay? It is, he creates like entertainment viral videos. It's not really my kind of thing. I don't really watch those kind of videos, but he, uh, someone asked him on a podcast, what's your advice for someone who wants to uh, grow on YouTube? And he said, um, my best piece of advice is to make a hundred videos and improve something every time. And I just stopped and thought for a minute, I thought that is such good advice, not just for YouTube, but also for, for life, for everything else. You know, what is the best way to get good at the gym? Well, go to the gym a hundred times and improve something every time. What's the best way to get good at uh, dating? Go on a hundred dates and improve something every time. So whatever this thing is that you wanna do, you can do it, okay? You can do it and ask yourself, how can I get started how can I just put the reps in? What can I do? Improve, what can I do for a hundred times and just improve it every single time? And if you do that and you follow this advice and you keep it simple and you have zero expectations, you will finally get started. And then once you start getting started, you can start building momentum. And I think of it, uh, momentum as like a, a train, okay? I've spoken about this in one of my previous videos about you know, being unstoppable. But when a train sets off, okay, a train is very slow, it's very heavy, um, you know, it just takes a long time to actually start moving. But the, the longer the train stays in motion and the faster the speed gets, it, it just gets to a point where it has so much momentum that even if it was to slam on the brakes, it would take so long to stop. And that's what can happen with you, but you first have to get started. And when you get started, look, like, the, uh, the, the rate of progress is gonna be very slow. The train's moving very slow. It's gonna look like you're not getting anywhere. But if you keep showing up every single day, if you do the thing every single day, that's such a good hack to, uh, to get better faster, is to just do something every day, right? 
you will eventually build up momentum and you'll start going faster and faster and faster and faster so that eventually you'll look out the window or you'll look at yourself and your rate of progress and you'll be shocked about how far you've come okay guys so you can do this if you're watching this video right now you have all the raw materials that you need to go out there and do what it is that you want to get done and don't wait don't wait any longer because we only have one chance on this spinning rock we have one chance we have one life and uh, clock's ticking every single day that, that a day goes by is one day left that we have on this planet and i don't mean to kind of like depress you or anything like that but you know we literally do not have much time on this planet so if there's something that you want to do you may as well go out there and just get it done